I, I think for Thanksgiving, even though it's uh, such a traditional American holiday centered around food, I, I find a lot of times that uh, chefs are inspired by Asian ingredients and Asian preparations and techniques. And I think more so now than ever, people are incorporating those techniques into something you know as American as Thanksgiving. Um, so for the pumpkin soup, uh, I took what is kind of a traditional basic soup uh, pumpkin that's roasted and pureed, um, but added little touches like uh, ginger, which adds a little bit of acidity and a little bit of spice, um, and then lemongrass, which is a little bit more exotic. Uh, ginger we've, we've come to use a lot in America, but lemongrass is a little bit more uh, traditionally Southeastern Asian. And uh, those kind of help perfume and fragrant, give fragrance to the uh, finished product of the, the soup. Well, this soup has uh, a number of steps to it, but you know, overall it's fairly easy to prepare ahead of time um, and have ready to go and then serve in the pumpkin so that you don't have a whole lot of uh, steps or things that you have to do when you're going through the whole process of trying to plate Thanksgiving, get all of those components coming together at the same time, which is really the most difficult aspect of cooking Thanksgiving. Um, so it's most of the work really can be done ahead of time. The roasting of the pumpkin with the vegetable stock in it, uh, once you put the vegetable stock in it and you've cleaned the pumpkin out, uh, that really, the work is being done in the oven and you're free to, to work on Brussels sprouts or green bean casserole or whatever it may be. And you can just kind of let that happen and then let the other ingredients come together like the roasting of the butternut squash. Um, and then once you have those components together, you can really just kind of put them together in the pot, do a little bit of a pureeing, and then the, the soup essentially is done. You've got the pumpkin that's already been roasted, so that's your serving vessel, so it's ready to go. And then when you get closer to service for Thanksgiving, you can take the, the puree, pour it into the pumpkin, and then put that back into the oven to stay warm, almost like you would with a crock pot or a soup tureen.